Welcome to Celebrating Act 2. Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life. Hi, I'm Donna Lynn from Vigor and Trim Fitness. We have a membership site for people over 50, just like you and me. And this is Celebrating Act 2, and we're at Short and Sweet, where I teach you one exercise tip and give you one nutritional tip so you can stay healthy and strong. Now, today, we're going to work on the infraspinatus, the teres minor, the rhomboids, what are all those things? Well, they're all muscles that work through the back and the shoulder, and we have to keep them nice and strong so that our shoulders don't get cranky. And we know what that's about, right? We don't want to do that. So I'm going to show you how to do a really simple move. Now, what I have today is working with a resistance band. You don't need a resistance band to do this, but they're really uh, easy to find. And just a little tip here is that they're color-coded according to resistance. So let's get started. Now the band I have is yellow, which is one of the lighter ones, okay? I'm going to let that band just cross my palms like this, and my thumbs are pointing out, all right? I'm gonna put my elbows into my waist, keep them nice and tight in here, and they're at a 90 degree. So make sure they're not up here and not down here, but right at 90 degree on that elbow, okay? I'm gonna keep my elbows locked into my waist, pull those shoulders down and back, stand up tall, and then I'm just going to pull this apart, all right? And I'm going to let those shoulders just rotate nice and easily in their little place up there, okay? I was going to say socket, but it's not really a socket, <laughs> all right? And you're just going to pull this apart and squeeze, and you'll feel all those muscles back there that we're trying to make really strong and healthy so that we don't have the shoulder injuries and problems, okay? Yeah. So I'm just do a couple more of these. Whew, breathing and easy does it, yeah. Oh, this feels good. I don't want to stop. Well, I better because we have a nutritional tip for you today. Now, our nutritional tip for you today is about sleep. Now, what does sleep have to do with nutrition? Well, it's a lot of stuff. For instance, if you're not eating right, you might not be able to have a good night's sleep. Did you know that food was related to that? Well, if you didn't, now you do. And also, if you're not sleeping well, that's a good way to gain weight. We don't want that. So you want to get about seven, eight hours of sleep a night. And one of some of the best ways of making that happen is to create a ritual. Now, you know how you put the baby to bed at a certain time and wake the baby up or the baby wakes up at a certain time. That's what you want to do. You want to go to sleep at the same time and wake up at the same time. All right. And that will improve your focus and your mood. That helps wash out and clean out the brain. So you're really sharp as a tack. Yeah. And, and you can do some other things, too, like you can add some aromatherapy to help complement that sleep and get it down the body nice and relaxed and rested and ready to go to sleep, okay? Now, you want to shut off all your electronics about an hour ahead, right? And you don't want that those EMFs coming in when you're trying to get some sleep. Anyways, I want you to try to practice some of those things, and maybe if you have some other sleep tips that you do and they help you, you can give some information to us in the comments below. Well, you know why I do this stuff. I do this so that you can be healthy and strong. And I look to see you next week at Celebrating Act 2. This is Short and Sweet, and I'm Donna Lynn. Thanks for joining me. For more on Celebrating Act 2, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life.